How's it going everybody? It's Marcus here with Good E-Reader and today we're going to do a hands-on general overview of the new Barnes & Noble Nook Color. So you can see here that we have internet on, you can surf web pages, check your email, do everything like that. You can zoom in by double clicking it doesn't have pinch and zoom like other e-readers or tablets. You can see here that this is your home screen button right there, hitting the upside down U. This is where you would hit your menu system. Now just to give you a general overview, it's running Android 2.0. 8 gigabits of internal memory. It read, runs and reads EPUBs and PDFs for ebooks does mp3s for music, does video, does audio. You can, of course, like I said, surf the internet. You can configure it to be in Wi-Fi so you can, you can connect up to open networks as well as private networks. It does have a full keyboard. It does portrait and landscape. You can see that it's very quick doing that. You can see that they have volume here on the side. All the buttons are really built right into it. Headphone jack, right there. On the bottom is where your USB is. You can see here, this is your stereo speakers. It reads all Microsoft Office formats. To buy eBooks, you have to have a US-based registered account. So let's start at the beginning with library. You can see here that it does come with a few books, mostly kids color books, but of course it does do magazines, newspapers, you can configure shelves. So if you have kids in your family, everybody could have their own shelf if you share the same e-reader. Of course, you can load files onto that yourself. such as books, documentation, magazines, music, pictures, and so on. Even uh, configure your own wallpapers. So there's nothing stock that comes with the device, unfortunately. Of course, it does do the new Barnes & Noble Nook Lend Me feature. So if you buy eBooks, you can share them for up to a few weeks with friends, and they disappear from your e-reader as you share them. Speaking of ebooks, let's take a look and see what uh, see what they look like. Let's uh, take a look at a kids ebook first. So, of course, with some of the kids ebooks, you can read to you can read uh, by yourself, or the ebook can be read to you with a narrator's voice. You know, keep ebooks for kids. They got to be full color. And it's really great that the largest bookstore chain in the U.S. has put out a full-color Android e-reader. One of the things to bear in mind when you're reading kids' e-books is, you know, you can zoom in by double tapping, but you can actually flip the pages as it's zoomed in. You got to first zoom out to turn the pages. So that's something to totally be aware of. Let's see what uh, the new John Grisham book looks like. Let's uh, put this in landscape mode if we can. Yeah, uh, it looks like we can't. Yeah, it looks like some ebooks just don't do portrait mode. So, you can see here that the text is very crisp. Despite the fact that it is an LCD screen, you can configure the backlit aspect of it so you can make uh, the white less poppy, you can really tailor it down. The Barnes & Noble Nook Color uses Vivid View, which basically makes it so there's less glare in lights and on the sun. So that definitely looks solid, of course. With the Barnes & Noble Nook Color, it has a... Uh, it definitely has the ability to be able to get magazines, to get kids books, to get newspapers. You can see here once we 
connected the Wi-Fi, it loaded pretty fast. Um, you can do everything from checking out the top 100, New York Times bestsellers, new releases, recommended ebooks, kids ebooks. Uh, you can even check out, get subscriptions to newspapers such as here's the USA Today. You can see here that monthly it's eleven ninety nine, current issue price seventy five cents. You can check out synopsis, editorial reviews. This e-reader basically just came out last week, so we are one of the first people basically to have this device and have it in our hands. So, one of the nice things is about this device is you can play games, you can sync your contacts, listen to Pandora, or you can load your own MP3s on there and listen to it while either you're reading, because it does do multitasking, so you can listen to music as you're reading an ebook, or listen to music while, say, you surf the internet, and if you don't want to bother anybody, you can connect it up via headphones. It does have a lot of settings. So, you can see here, 5 gigabits or so of internal memory that you have to play with after the operating system and everything's installed. We don't have an SD card, but you can erase everything. You know, like I said, you can configure a lot of things on the screen, such as your orientation. So, you can lock your orientation if you wanted to, your brightness, screen timeout. It has some good security features, so you could basically make it so you need a password just to, um, you know, get into your device, or if you want to lock out Barnes & Noble ebook purchasing, so maybe your kids or whoever is using your e-reader inadvertently doesn't rack up a lot of money charges on the bookstore, you can lock that out. Of course, it does have social aspects, so you could link your Facebook, Twitter, Google account, so you could share select book passages as you're reading and either use them as status updates, Twitter updates, and so on. Uh, we really like this e-reader. Some people, especially purists, have said, you know, an e-reader is e-ink or can't read it at all. But a lot of people, especially growing up in this day and age, where all smartphones are LCD, all computers are LCD, all TVs are LCD, a lot of people just can wrap their heads around e-ink. So if you're looking for a quality colored e-reader with tremendous support, great user community, we can really recommend this e-reader enough. We really like the fact that it does multitasking, everything from loading up the store, loads super fast, to click on a book to see what it's all about. It's really quick. Uh, even purchasing is a snap. It doesn't suffer from e-readers that do e-ink. E Traditionally, the screen absolutely has to refresh between when you turn a page, when you're loading up different features. If you've ever surfed the internet on a Kindle or load up a lot of different menu features, it's not as fast as the Barnes & Noble Nook Color. Uh, Barnes & Noble Bookstore has a lot of books, but if you don't want to just do business with Barnes & Noble, this device does have the ability to connect up to via USB right here to your computer. So you can download ebooks from the internet and just straight up load them on your device. So basically, with ePubs and PDFs, a lot of online stores do PDFs. So you can load both PDFs with DRM and non-DRM, same with EPUBs. You can see here a full touchscreen keyboard. It's very responsive. You can hit this to hide it, and so on. But yeah, um, Barnes & Noble No Color, we're really happy with this. Of course, we're going to do a full written review on this e-reader probably within about a day or so. Uh, we're going to have pictures, we'll have a few thousand pages in reviews where we're basically going to go over this e-reader from heads to toe. And if you want to read this review, you can check it out on our blog at goodereader.com slash blog. Or you can see further videos at youtube.com slash user slash goodereader. So for this is the Barnes & Noble No Color. My name is Marcus and you've been watching another Good E-Reader video. Everybody take care.